Okay, I, I like this problem. This one's a good one. You have this leaning four-sided figure, this leaning quadrilateral or parallelogram standing up. You have 125 degrees over here, and here you have four, and you have six points A, B, B, and C. Now, one of the fundamentals of quantitative comparison is you do not actually have to find out the answer to what's being asked. And in this case, that answer is what is the area of this figure? You don't have to. All you need to do is figure out or determine is it less than, equal to, or greater than 24. So when you see this 125 and you say, hey, I never learned anything about a 125 degree angle the way I did with a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and you become flummoxed because you can't think of any relationship, and you try to solve this, and you say, wow, it's impossible, I don't know, and maybe you even put D. But again, it can't be D, it's something pretty fixed, something pretty finite here, and it is a parallelogram, so this is also 125 degrees. And even then, though, you don't have to know that, because really, only one important thing here. If this figure wore a rectangle, with the exact same dimensions as the parallelogram. So basically, you've taken it from this tilting, which is the parallelogram, you've made it straight, so now you have sides 6 and 4. You now have an area of what? Ah, 24. But what happens as soon as we tilt this figure down? Let's say we start tilting it. Here we go, just as we do in a parallelogram. What happens to that area? Is it not that apparent now? Well, what if I really tilt it so I, it looks something like this? What do you notice is happening to the area? Well, it's getting much, much smaller. Look at that. That's hardly any area compared to this big rectangle up here. So to maximize the area of a four-sided figure, you want to make sure that it's a rectangle, 90 degrees, keeping the same dimensions. As soon as you lean it over, and it becomes like this, or has an angle of 125 here, so that now it's bent over, you know that it has to be less than 24, so the answer is B.